All right, everyone, welcome to my 2021 Ram 2500 Limited Longhorn. So we're gonna go over a quick uh, overview today. Um, this is my second attempt at filming this video, so hopefully I don't miss anything. So uh, first version of the video got messed up with the camera, all the stabilization. Hopefully it works today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have my 2021 Ram 2500 Limited Longhorn Cummins 4x4. I think that's all of the names. So we got pearl white color over top of the RV match walnut brown. So the cool thing when you get the two-tone brown, you not only get all the front, the front bumper, rear bumper, the sides, the fender flares, you get the side steps also matched in the walnut brown as well as in here you can see the wheel pockets so you have the silver face with the brown pockets and then the brown center as well really nice touch from ram to include that um the small details is what really matters on these uh trucks you know when you're spending well i guess msrp on this was seventy six thousand. we'll go over the um window sticker here in a little bit but let's go ahead and uh before we go to any further let's take a look at the key which is really cool all right so taking a look at the key of the ram 2500 longhorn you have special Ram Longhorn badge on the back, so it's different from, you know, all the typical Rams, which is nice. I think the Limited will say the Limited. I'm not sure if the Bighorn or the Laramie will say their trim models, but they might just say Ram. Now, on the face of the key, you have the unlock, the lock, the uh, tailgate open, and the remote start. So let's just go ahead and uh, two clicks of the tailgate button. There we go. Didn't work the first time, worked the second time. But here you can see... Uh, the limited longhorn does come standard with the bed liner already on it. So on mine, I added on the Ram boxes. They're about a thousand dollar option. So pretty cool here. You just click this button and they lift up and you get storage in the whole side here with a light as well. Pretty easy to close them down, but you do have to actually like slam them. Make sure they seat all the way because if they don't here, I'll demonstrate because if you just kind of close them see how this still bounces you got to really slam it to seat them but it's all good there um now with the ram boxes you do lose a little bit of bed space but ram does say that it is still wide enough to fit uh like a sheet of drywall so a sheet of drywall will fit between the um inboard section of the ram boxes so you also get these tie downs as well they are movable they have little uh, <laughs> spinny lever thingies here. So you spin them and loosen them. And then you can pull them out and drag them. I'm not going to go through all that now, but you can adjust them. I have adjusted one, so there is that. Uh, we do have the bed lighting as well. Along the back here, you get your backup camera up here in the um, tailgate handle. The a very large <laughs> Ram badge. Let everybody know you got a Ram. Nice engraved limited Longhorn Edition badge. Your 4x4 over there. Hitch receiver. And then your two hitch plugs. There you go. You got backup sensors here. And inside of the light here is actually where your blind spot monitoring is. So here's the, the radar uh, section for that. So it also do up to your trailer length as well. So say you have a 20 foot trailer, it will measure back 20 foot and give you blind spot monitoring all the way back to the end of your trailer. Inside of the driver's side Ram box, you actually get a full um, plug in here. So say 115 volts, max 400 watts. 
same sort of storage in here with a light one cool thing about this you can turn this on and off from inside the car here so or the truck i should say so in here this uh, button there controls power going to your ram box back here All right, so now we're in the back of the truck. Um, let's just go ahead and show you a couple things here. So the seats do fold up. You get a nice little puddle light underneath the seat here to shine down on the floor for your passengers at night. You also get this uh, fold out here. Let me go ahead and do this. So this will fold out like that. Get it to clear the seat just like that. So you can have a full flat um, level or load surface and then the driver's side also does it as well but since i have the seat a little further back i'd have to move that forward um the reason it's back is because there's actually a entry exit feature so when you turn the truck off the seat moves back further to allow you to get in and out of the truck easier so let's go ahead and fold this up real quick so got to fold it up here you can also fold it up you can see the one of the speakers here um, I guess if you had the full 19 speaker system, I don't, I just have the standard radio, you would get probably a bigger subwoofer or something like that here, but that's what we got. Um, one cool thing about the Rams, not all of them, some of them, I'm not sure exactly which trims, but if you pop up the floor mat, you'll see under here is a nice storage area. You can actually remove the inner liner, so if you need to, if you want to fill it, you know, with drinks and ice and stuff, you can dump out the water. Um, when you're done with it. So it just latches down like that. Put that back down. All good to go. I do like how on the Longhorn, these mats come standard. You don't have to pay extra for them. So they're rubber outlined with a nice carpet um, on the inside. So you get a nice luxury feel where you put your feet, but then you get protection from the elements and whatever else happens to maybe spill on the carpets. You get that nice protection as well with the lip to help contain liquids or whatever happens. Um, one thing cool, nice little design touch. Got the barbed wire finish with the Ram logo over here in the middle. And then in the back here, as you can see, we have heated seats. We have two USBs, two USB Cs, a nice little storage area above that, and then a traditional house plug. And then two cup holders, two cup holders up top there, and two cup holders down here, as well as, uh, I was gonna say, room in the door handle. You might be able to squeeze a water bottle in there, but um, overall, it's just this is just a beautiful truck, in my opinion. Um, you do have nice little uh, saddle bag touch here with the, the belt buckle, and this just pops off. The actual buckle is not functioning functional, but it just kind of magnetically clips in there, and then you have your standard pocket back here. And then in the middle, I almost forgot, Two more cup holders so you got six cup holders accessible to the back seat the same sort of stitching man this leather is so soft i can't <laughs> i can't get over how soft the leather is it's very nice it very nice feel very comfortable all right let's move to the front
All right, moving to the front of the vehicle, you have a very similar design as you do with the back um, doors. Got the wood, the alligator, the nice gold trim. The gold trim here actually very similarly matches the gold trim on the key. It's a really nice touch by Ram to continue the, not only the trim from the vehicle, but also to have it on the key, and it's a very nice touch. So you also get power folding mirrors, standard on the Longhorn. So boom, they fold it in. Click the button again, they go out. And then you can have all your mirror adjustments. Windows, all standard RAM stuff. Two um, memory profiles for your seats. Now looking into the driver's cabin, you got a nice chrome-ish aluminum style RAM kick plate. The same style of floor mats that you have in the back of the truck. Now let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so to start the vehicle, you just put your foot on the brake and give it a start. Nice limited long horn appears on the gauge cluster all right so the main thing that is gonna surprise you i guess if you haven't been in a long home before is the attention to detail on just every sort of little piece that you can find it's actually quite amazing so like you can see here there's even this the same filigree pattern going along all the trim this is real wood like real wood not plastic no nothing um, got a nice embossed or stamped badge into the wood. It's just overall, it's just such a beautiful interior. Like everywhere you look, it says Longhorn or it has some sort of uh, pattern in the seats. Here's the window sticker. We'll go over that in a minute. But yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. All the leathers are soft. Even you have this wood on the steering wheel up top here. See, it's just very high quality. Just more wood down here. And then one cool thing, in the center console, if you don't want to look at this and you wanted to see more wood, there you go, even more wood. Got the sliding center console, standard on most of the Ram, well, this is a standard center console on Rams with the five passenger seating. If you get one with the six passenger seating, you'll get a bench seat in the front, but all the limited Longhorns do come with the five passenger seating with the center console standard. So you got your two USBs, two USB-Cs, another storage area, your phone holder. Now, if you got the level one equipment group, your wireless charger would be here. So when you rush your phone up against there, you would get that. But the reason I didn't get the level one equipment group is because I use Apple CarPlay. So in order to do that, you have to plug the phone in anyway. I didn't necessarily need the 17 speaker system because I think the nine, I think it's a bass is a nine speaker system. It's perfectly fine for me. I'm not a music junkie. I just kind of listen to it occasionally. Um, I didn't really necessarily need the power folding steps. Uh, this, the fixed steps on the side that are paint matched to the bottom of the truck. I think they look fine. They work fine for me. I didn't need the um, ones that fold in, but I think that's it for what comes on the level one group yeah so it's not that many options so like i said you get the wireless charger you get speakers and you get power folding steps are the three big ones and i think the price on it was like over three thousand dollars if you don't need those things save yourself the money um oh and i think it comes the level one equipment group does give you the 12 inch screen but you can as you can see here i didn't get the level one equipment group you can get the 12 inch screen separate from it as just a check on box option so i have the screen no level one equipment group everything works perfectly because i wanted a 12 inch screen so moving on to the gauge cluster here um had the speedometer now you got all your vehicle info tire pressure coolant temp trans temp oil pressure boost pressure diesel filter oil life fuel filter life battery voltage, exhaust brake, and gauge summary, which is kind of what you really need more than anything. Engine hours, so keep moving on. So you do have off-road stuff here. So it has your pitch and roll and your drivetrain. So I'll tell you, here, let me see if you guys can see that. So as you can see here, it tells you which, um, the degree your wheels are moving and all that sort of thing. So you actually get off-road pages in the 12 inch screen as well, not just in the gauge cluster. So let's go ahead and wait for those to load up. 
So here you get vehicle dynamics. It'll tell you what, if you're in two wheel drive or four wheel drive, accessory gauges. So you get a gauge cluster on here, kind of similar to the performance pages on the um, Dodges. And then you get the pitch and roll here as well. So it's a lot bigger. You get some nice fancy coordinates and your altitude. Um, pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna use them because I bought this as more of a tow rig and not an off-road truck. But I'm sure there's people out there that will off-road their Longhorns, and if they do, you get the off-road pages to go with it. So also on this vehicle, I did get the safety group, which comes with the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep. So those are controlled through here. You got your adaptive cruise on the top. So you activate it here. You can set your distance here. If you want just your standard cruise control, that's operated through just the standard four buttons here. Your lane keep can be turned off or on up here. I don't necessarily use it on the back roads or in city driving because you do have to, you know, occasionally maneuver around potholes or debris or whatever's in the road. So I turn it off. I only use it mainly on the highways, um, especially when I'm towing. It works really nice to help keep the truck straight. So let's continue going through here. Fuel economy, as you can see there, I'm averaging 19 miles per gallon now with it idling quite a bit. Um, I'd say on my typical drive, I'm getting about 20 to 21 miles per gallon uh, on my drive to work, which is mixed of uh, probably about 30 to 40 percent uh, city type driving and then about 60, 60, 70 percent highway driving. So trip info, standard stuff, trailer tow, you can do your trailer brakes, um, trailer light check. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button there. So trailer light check and your trailer trip. So as you can see there on the trailer trip, we've already towed almost 200 miles with it. Um, we only have 430 miles on the truck. So when we went to the track this past weekend, we put half the miles on it in one day and that was uh, towing. So um, your forward collision warning, active braking off because the uh, adaptive cruise isn't on or I might have it turned off. I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that. But yeah, you can adjust your screen setup here. So um, the four corners of your gauge cluster here, you can make them say whatever gauges you basically want. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. So the upper left, you can have it say trans temp, coolant temp, trailer trip, trailer brake, oil life, basically whatever you want. So I have it set to, what do I have it set? Coolant temp in the top left, boost pressure in the top right. I wanted oil temp in the top right, but it's not an option in the center console. You can only see it um, if you go into the gauge summary. You have oil pressure in the bottom right and then battery voltage in the bottom left. So let's back out of that. And then that serves it for the uh, center gauge cluster there. Um, there's been a bunch of videos on the Uconnect 12, so I'm not gonna go into that anything or anymore. Um, so up here, it's actually kind of cool, new for 2021, you have the uh, digital rear view mirror, so you can adjust the, the brightness of it. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but their brightness is going up and down. You can adjust the angle for the camera, and this is mounted up next to your cargo lamp um, above your bed. So you can, if you have stuff in the bed, um, you can actually see over top of it, and it'll allow you to see what's behind you if you have stuff covering the rear window there. So it's a really nice touch um, because if you had it just like this, but you have stuff in your bed, then you can't see <laughs> behind you with your rear view mirror. So the camera above your bed makes it a lot easier to see. And you just control it by switching down with this little lever here. Up top, you got the open and close for the rear window, standard stuff, your lights, you can lower your tailgate from here. All pretty standard stuff. I mean, this is, it's very standard. Uh, it has everything standard that you would want. That's what I should be saying. Um, over here, got a nice felt lined uh, with a light. The top center, or what's the word I'm looking for? The top glove box, there we go. And then a standard glove box down here as well with our books and everything. Both of them are felt lined. So if you want to put anything valuable in there, it won't get scratched. But yeah, overall, you see what we got here. Got a nice storage up here. The standard, now standard RAM uh, construction workers guide here. Sliding center console, more storage down here. 
You got a flip up partition if you don't want things to slide around. All right, so before we get you out of here today, we're gonna go over my window sticker. Um, base price on this truck is 60,180 for the, I think that's the base price for the limited Longhorn Crew Cab 4x4 with the Hemi. So the diesel, the Cummins Turbo Diesel, 370 horsepower, 850 pound-feet of torque. That is a $9,400 option. The pearl white paint on the exterior, not just the standard white paint but the pearl white paint is $100 option the safety group comes in at a hefty $1,990 but it does really work we got more to come on that so stay tuned if you're interested go ahead and subscribe now if you're interested in uh, videos on the adaptive cruise control and lane keep systems uh, lower two-tone paint is $495 kind of worth it on the pearl white I think it really ties the whole truck together Clearance lamps for $95, the anti-spin differential for $445, so it's just your limited slip diff. The 12-inch screen is $1,300, and the RAM boxes are $1,000. So, overall, I absolutely adore this truck. I think the options I picked for it, they work well for me. Um, if you like this sort of build, I mean, it's got some of the luxury and it being the Longhorn standard, but it's got everything that I wanted in a truck. So it's got the big screen, it's got the adaptive cruise control, but it doesn't have anything extra. Like I don't need the bigger speakers and all that stuff, but yeah, overall, I'm absolutely in love with this truck. Um, we're going to have more, plenty more reviews on the adaptive cruise control. Like I said, the towing capabilities and um, yeah. So it's just a quick in-depth walk around of my new truck. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment below your thoughts on what I picked, if I could have, should have done something different. But yeah, um, let me know. So it's uh, going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.